Poseidon was one of the twelve Olympians in ancient Greek religion and myth, god of the sea, storms, earthquakes and horses. He is considered one of the most bad-tempered, moody and greedy Olympian gods. He was known to be vengeful when insulted. He is the son of Cronus and Rhea and was swallowed by his father along with Hades, Demeter, Hestia and Hera. Poseidon's most distinctive attribute was the trident, a three-pronged fishing spear. During the War of the Titans, the Cyclops crafted a magical trident for Poseidon, and together with his brothers Zeus and Hades he defeated the Elder Gods and imprisoned them in Tartaros. After the gods defeated the Titans, the world was divided into three. Zeus, Hades and Poseidon drew straws to decide which they would rule. Zeus drew the skies, Hades the underworld, and Poseidon the seas. There is only one reference to this divide, by Homer in the Iliad. Poseidon is most commonly depicted in ancient Greek art as mature and bearded. He often brandishes his trident, fashioned by the Cyclops, with which he would create earthquakes by striking it to the ground. He is also frequently portrayed riding his golden chariot pulled by hippocampus, half-horse and half-serpent creatures with fishtails, or gold-shod horses, of which he was patron. Dolphins, seahorses, and tuna fish are additional marine animals frequently seen in the gods' company and art. If Poseidon was pleased, he would bless sailors with a safe voyage in the sea, make the agricultural lands fertile, provide abundant supply of freshwater or would allow trade to flourish. But if someone offended Poseidon, the gods' vengeance knew no bounds. He would send powerful storms, winds and floods to kill thousands of people, wreck entire ships on islands or sink them beneath the sea, raise entire cities with devastating earthquakes or send terrible sea monsters to maraud cities. One of the famous things about Poseidon is, story of Pegasus or Medusa from another angle. Poseidon desperately desired Medusa, a virgin priestess of Athena. In a moment of raw passion he chased after her. Medusa escaped Poseidon's embrace, and ran to Athena's temple to beg for help. Poseidon found the poor girl and raped Medusa on the floor of Athena's temple of worship. When Athena discovered this, she angrily turned her priestess Medusa into a monster for her losing her purity. Years later, when Perseus slayed Medusa and their son the giant Chrysor and the winged horse Pegasus were born from her blood. Poseidon and Apollo once convinced the other gods to overthrow Zeus as he wasn't doing a good job ruling Olympus. They tied him up while he was sleeping and nearly succeeded, but at the last moment, the sea nymph Thetis along with the Hecatonchiri, Briars, freed Zeus. As a punishment, Apollo and Poseidon had to swear a solemn oath to build the famous walls of Troy for King Lamedon. Poseidon is a major protagonist in the Trojan War of Homer's Iliad, where he supports the Greeks and gives them either encouragement with rousing speeches, often in disguise as various Achaean personalities, or actually leads them in battle with flashing sword. However, he does also give aid to the Trojan hero Aeneas in order to escape from the fearsome Achilles. Poseidon also features in Homer's Odyssey as the nemesis of Odysseus. In revenge for the blinding of his son Polyphemus, he cursed Odysseus to wander the sea for ten years. Poseidon's name is very old, and its meaning is lost to us. Various authors have tried to translate it as either husband of the earth or lord of the waters. Plato says that it means knower of many things. But we all know him as god of the sea. If you like this video and mythology like me, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe my channel. And click on that bell. It really does help to support me. Don't miss the other adventures of the Olympians, and of course every kind of mythology.